Hi everyone, today here on the bench I have a very interesting, simple and a special project for me that I want to demo for you because this one is the first one that I've ever made that's being controlled via mobile phone over Bluetooth Low Energy. As you can see, the project consists of a very few components where the star of the show for today's project is this Seed Chow BLE board that's powered by the NRF uh, 52840 chip, which has Bluetooth low energy on board, regular Bluetooth 5.0, and also NFC support if needed with an external antenna. And also they have version where you also have a microphone on board for a uh, different application. This one does not have a microphone, so you can see that the position here is empty, but it's out there for you if you have a special need for that. So the project that I'm having here is the Bluetooth uh, low energy thermostat that you can connect to your heating stove and then you can use a mobile app to control it. The project, as I said, is being powered by this Chow BLE board, which was provided for me for free from Seed Studio. Uh, you can find links to it down below in the video description. And it's a pretty powerful board. Uh, that has a lot of options, including uh, I2C, UART, and SPIS communication interfaces. It has a three color LED that's uh, on board. It has onboard Bluetooth antenna, and it can be interfaced using the Arduino ID and also MicroPython and CircuitPython. For this, I use the Arduino ID and the whole setup worked perfectly. Additionally, on the board, there's uh, 256 uh, kilobytes of RAM and two megabytes of onboard flash. The processor, as I said, is the NRF52840, which runs at 64 megahertz. So this makes the whole board really powerful and it has a lot of applications. In this video, I wanted to display the Bluetooth connectivity and also play around with Bluetooth low energy because I've never built a project with that. So the project uses the uh, Chao BLE as a microcontroller and brains for the entire operation. It has an AM2302 or the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor that's being connected uh, to the board. It has a relay that triggers out the output that then controls the heating element and it has a switch that you can manually override and turn on the thermostat if you don't currently have the app running on the phone. Other than that, there is one resistor that's required for the AM2302 and basically that's all that there is. Here I'm using, if you don't know what it is, this is one of my breadboard jumpers that I've designed so you can connect multiple uh, breadboards in series and expand your pins that you have for prototyping projects. There is a video that I'll link up here that you can find and order that board if you want through Thindy. Links to that will be down in the description. And in terms of wiring, I have the humidity and temperature sensor connected to D1 here on the microcontroller. Then on D2, I have set up this as an output to control the relay and D3 is an input that uh, is then being connected from the 3.3 volts and ground. Uh, using the switch we can indicate to the microcontroller to set the proper state that we want to operate in and everything up here is basically just sharing power for the relay, sharing power for the DHT22 and also uh, bringing power in up to the to the switch. An interesting feature of the Xiao BLE board that I forgot to mention is the ability to directly charge a lithium battery. On the bottom there are two pins that you can connect the battery to and there is a special routine that you can call that directs the charging current to the battery to be either 50 milliamps or 100 milliamps. So if you do that you can then uh, use the incoming charge port to charge the battery and have that battery as a backup in in case 
power is lost or if you want to have the project that being portable and that of course is the perfect application for batteries like this that we have extracted from basically throwaway devices you can check out the video up here for those uh, but if you connect this battery directly to the controller uh, that should work and you should have a backup power in case the main power is lost so your thermostat will stay on and will function even in an event of a power loss. The only downside of the battery terminals is that they are placed on the bottom. At least that's my opinion because they are really inaccessible when prototyping projects here on the breadboard and I would have to use wires that are coming out of it. I would prefer that I had the contacts up here somewhere on the board so I can use them with pins and that would make it a lot more easier if I then choose to make a custom PCB and basically place the board inside an enclosure as a finalized piece. But the option is there and you can use it if you want. Now, as I said before, this is my very first project that's being controlled over Bluetooth Low Energy. So as you can see on the setup, there is no display or anything to uh, show you what's going on with the project. So because of that, we need an app that runs on the phone. And to make the app, I use the MIT App Inventor software, which allows you to build Android and iOS applications. This is my first time that I used the software and it wasn't too difficult to figure out how to use it and how to build the application. Basically, you have two parts of the application where you have a designer where you can drag and drop components from the left here. And also you can import your own extensions, such as the Bluetooth low energy extension that I found online. And additional to this, uh, you have the code section where the entire code is defined as blocks on what happens when and what should happen on certain events on the app, such as when the Bluetooth low energy device uh, founds a, finds a device what happens when a device is connected and so on and so on. I'll have a link to the application that you can download and import into the MIT App Inventor. I'm not sure if I can share it directly from here, but uh, check the description down below for any links to get the app. So basically, now to show you a little demo, um, I have four buttons on the top of the screen of the application where the first one is scan, then you have stop scan, connect and disconnect. Once you start scanning, uh, it searches for devices uh, nearby using uh, Bluetooth. And as you can see, it finds our own thermostat, which I named as thermostat. We can then select and choose to either stop scanning and then to connect to the device. Uh, now, when the connection is established, we can see the interface that's uh, controlling the uh, the thermostat. So on the top here, we have the status that uh, indicates that we are currently connected with the device and we have the ability to turn on or turn off the thermostat entirely. We have the current mode that's operating and an indication whether the heating is on or off. Currently, the Bluetooth module also provides data back from the temperature sensor and the humidity sensor. So you can see it's currently 28.3 degrees Celsius and the humidity is at 48.7. And currently the thermostat is off. We can turn it on. And now we see that uh, the label changed to on. And if we can, if I move this over here, you'll see that we have an indication of that here on the device itself with the onboard LED. We can now turn it off, but you can see that the heating is staying off because the current temperature is higher than what we have set on the thermostat. If we turn on the thermostat and then decide to basically change the temperature um, to 34 degrees, we can now see that the relay turned on, uh, indicated by this LED. And if we turn off the thermostat, then it will turn off. 
and then turn it on it will turn on if we lower the temperature to something lower then that also turns off and we have an indication of that on the app ui as well now uh, the thermostat has two modes of operation as i said before so the first one is the auto mode where the thermostat is turned on and off via the app so we can turn on the thermostat and you can see that that now we have a red led that shines on the chow ble board that indicates that the thermostat is operating currently also the relay is on because we have set a higher temperature than what we have in the room which the sensor senses but let's say that you are in the room you are feeling cold you have a set temperature on the thermostat but uh, you don't have your phone with you uh, that's what this button is for uh, this is a manual override on the turning on of the thermostat and if we flip that switch we'll see that now the thermostat again switches to on position we currently have a blue led that shines that indicates that now we are in a manual mode and the relay is also turned on and running the heater as expected so we have the heating on um, with a set temperature of 34 degrees and a current temperature of 28.6 if we heat up this element to 36 degrees because i have a two degrees of hysteresis setup in the code that would turn off and once the temperature goes lower than two degrees from the set temperature the heating will turn on again and that cycle repeats indefinitely so the app and the software that's running on the microcontroller can be upgraded to have a lot of other modes i'll have links to the code available down in the description and if you want to extend on this project and uh, make it more versatile feel free to do so so everyone can benefit from the project and have a more versatile thermostat than what's available and also the last thing that i want to show you is if i turn it on from here so you'll see now we have both the red and the blue leds shining on the device indicating that we have turned on the thermostat through the application but also running it manually through the switch if we now turn off the switch we'll see that the blue led will turn off but since we have it on through the app everything still stays on if we want to turn it off completely then we'll need to turn it off with the app and additionally if we set it on with the set temperature we can then disconnect the app and everything will still continue running normally until we connect again with the app and um, make sure that we can control the thermostat again and again with the application now in terms of code running on the microcontroller here i have everything um, programmed through the arduino ide i'm using the arduino ble library and the dht library for uh, the dht sensor i won't go into details but basically we have a defined service for the microcontroller and we have some kind of characteristics on that defined where we set up them for reading writing or for notifications the notifications are used for situations like the temperature and humidity and also the current statuses that are on the app where we are directly informed by the microcontroller to the app uh, when something changes and basically what really happens behind the uh, code is that we get the temperature and humidity and based on that temperature and humidity uh, that is read every five seconds from the sensor we are acting on the relay output and making sure that we are displaying that information over to the bluetooth uh, application that's running on the phone and also controlling the relay with that so I'll have links to the code, to the application, and 
to the microcontroller that is being used in the project. Let me know what you think down in the comments or if you have any questions. And if you like this video, then I'm sure that you're gonna like this one where I build a differential thermostat uh, that controls solar panel and a pump to heat up a boiler with the sun. Cheers and thank you for watching.